Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge. Today's video, I'm going to teach you how to shoot your pistol at distance better. Let's go ahead and get started. One thing I've noticed over the last seven years is students really struggle once we get past 10 yards. When we go to 15 and 25, the accuracy seems to just expand exponentially. And the reason is because the farther we go out, the more our fundamental errors come into play. Accuracy is a cone, and the farther we go back, the bigger that cone gets. One drill that I really like to do is just to move back incrementally. I like to start shooting at 10 yards, then I go back to 25, then 50, then 100, and finally 200. The target that I use use for the uh, 10 and 25 yard distance is this SR21. It's a triple bullseye. You've got one here, one here, and one here. And I like using this target a lot over the standard B8 center because as you can see, the scoring rings are much smaller on the SR21 than they are here. In fact, the 10 ring here is about the equivalent of the 9 ring here. And the 9 ring here is the equivalent of this entire 8 ring. Very similar target. So I like using the SR21. Requires a little bit more precision. So I'm going to start at 10 yards and I'm going to show you some drills that can really help you out. I'm going to start here at 10 yards. And I like 10 yards because I try to keep all my rounds at the 9 ring and in. 9 ringing in on this SR21 is like a 10 ringing in on that standard B8 center. So as soon as I can hold all my rounds in the 9 ring and better at 10 yards, I can move back to 25. So eyes and ears out there for you all listening at high volume or with sensitive eardrums. I'm going to make sure my stance is good, make sure my grip is good, and I'm going to shoot that middle bullseye right here. I'm going to try to keep these all in the 10 ring for you. I have not shot yet today, so this is all cold. Okay, so I think the, all those rounds were nine ringing in. I knew that last one felt a little weird and it tended to push out, but I've still got them all nine ringing in. Now we're gonna bump back to 25 yards. All right guys, I'm back here at 25 yards. I'm gonna try to keep these in the black. I hope I can keep them nine ringing in, but I'll, I'll be okay if they're in the black. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we'll shoot a group, make sure these are there, and then we can bump back to 50. All right, I think one is touching the black. Uh, let me go check that, but at least it'd be close. I'm okay with that because I knew that second shot was a little wonky. Uh, the first, the, the couple of them, the first and third were good to me. As you can see, guys, I knew these were good shots. I knew this one was out. That's not a problem. I'm ready to go back to 50 yards and shoot. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm at the 50-yard line. Um, got to shoot on a silhouette that's got that same circle, the black. Uh, I'm going to put my rounds there, 50 yards. I just aim right dead on. And as you can see, I'm working my way back, getting decent groups. So that's how we do distance. All right. And one more. All right, all three in the black. I can see it from here. So three in the black at 50 yards, I'll take it. Let's go to 100. All right, guys, out here at 100 yards, uh, I'm going to shoot that same steel silhouette that we did last time. As you can see, on one side, where the targets are on the range, that's the 100-yard line down there. I'm going to make sure we get good hits here. I'm going to aim, do my best for the fundamentals, for the mechanics. And as you can see, once you have an acceptable group at each yard line, you can move back and you're ready for the next one. So here we go at 100 yards. All right. That's 100 yards right there, um, upper torso. So now we're going to go up. We're going to try 200. All right, guys, 200 yards. Let's see if we can get a couple in there. There we go. 200 yards, it's hell of a windy day as you can see course as soon as I'm filming this it gets windy this goes to show you though you can make pistol shots even out farther than that uh, but that's how I work back distance but you got to make sure that you're shooting tight groups start at 10 bounce back 25 then 50 then 100 
and then of course finally 200. That's how I work accuracy and it's really helped my long range marksmanship and it's really helped me shoot uh, at distance at speed. If you found the information in the video helpful, subscribe to the channel. If you want to learn how to shoot your pistol better, come on out to class, come out to Valor Ridge. Uh, we have classes are filling up quickly this year, but we do have some spots for the second half of the season. I uh, also cover some of these drills in my pistol craft book. That book is available down below in the description box. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.